All right, let's do this. Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Resident Evil Team Up Again Part 7. I want to record this now whilst I'm still awake enough to do so. Damn you, sleep deprivation. But I'm feeling good today. We're finding Sherry. <laughs> Ada? There's Sherry. Sherry! Oh my god! Where's Ada going? Oh god. Here's a giant crocodile. Run! Just my luck. Oh well, at least we found Sherry. And Ada too. But she ran away. Come on, Mr. Crocodile. This is actually my second time recording this because the first time I actually tried to do something I've never tried doing before. I wonder what happens if you actually try shooting him normally. Uh, well, he doesn't die, he just eats you. So, um, this is the only way to do it, probably. I'm gonna shoot him now. Splat! Off goes his head. Bye! That was brilliant! But now I feel kind of bad. Poor crocodile. In another reality, maybe we could have been friends. I could have got the crocodile to eat William Birkin. That would have saved a lot of time. And now we're back with Ada. Where's she going? Thanks for helping Claire with the crocodile. Gosh, she's so self-centered. The only person that matters to Ada is Ada. Let's climb into the ventilation slot. I'm just glad the crocodile didn't eat Sherry. Oh no! Bags! So, what next, Ada? Oh! Ada's going back to Leon. Well, this kind of redeems her a little bit. Leon. <sighs> this bullet wound isn't making things any easier. Quiet, Leon. I'll patch you up. I'm glad she went back to help him in the end. And now Claire can check on Sherry. Oh god. Come on, wake up, Sherry. That's not good. <sighs> My stomach. It hurts. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Come on, let's go. Yeah, don't worry. There is a very minor chance that you might definitely die in excruciating pain just like Ben did. With the knockoff chestburster, and we found a wolf medal. Love it! I've always wanted a wolf medal, and now I have one. And Sherry, you can't have it. It's mine! Come on, Sherry, let's go this way. I suppose we're gonna have to go the same way Ada went. Hmm. Right, I'm gonna go this way. Because over here, a corpse of a sewer worker holding yet another medal. And this time we've got the Eagle Medal. This is great! They're like giant pogs. It is the 90s after all. I used to have so many pogs when I was a kid. They're little cardboard circles with a picture on it, and some of them are shiny. But they were cool! That was the way of things. You used to collect things. And if they were shiny or holographic, they were better. Like Pokemon stickers and trading cards. You used to get them free in packets of crisps or cereal boxes. Do kids still do that sort of thing now? I don't know. I'm old. I'm this old. Still loving the PlayStation 1 era. Right. I know what to do with these pogs. We're going to put them over here. When the spiders. Okay, so one over here, the wolf medal, and the eagle medal. And for some reason, that makes the waterfall stop and all the water is drained. So now, we can go through here. Come on, Sherry, let's escape the sewers. It smells. What was that? You monsters better stay away from me. I mean it. I have a gun. And a human shield. Sherry, that's you. Hmm. I always go to this thing, but there's nothing on it. There's never anything on those shelves, but I always check anyway. Will you turn the power on? You are not worthy of its power! But I suppose now it's on, we can ride it. The Sky Tram. I've always wanted to ride one of these. Oh my god! I need to get out of here, right now! I can't breathe! <sighs> Sherry. You can't let one go in an enclosed space. It's not good manners. I suppose, in her defense, she hasn't had much parental guidance. They were too busy doing science. 
while Sherry, their own child, was an afterthought. Oh no, they're getting a bit close. Sherry! What are you doing? You're supposed to be my human shield. Stand in front of me. Oh no, there's some in front of me, some behind me. Right, there's nothing for it. You're going to have to walk around me in circles. Try to protect me from all angles. Alright! Nice job. What's this guy got? Will you take the spark shot? Don't mind if I do. That sounds good. Oh, last zombie. Oh no! Sherry, help me! It's okay, I got it. And now I've got my spark shot, I'm gonna go in this direction. Come on, Sherry, keep up! Oh no! Zombies! And they're getting in my way. I feel kinda bad about shooting a gun so close to Sherry's head, but um... Hey! Get off me! Yeah, Claire's not exactly the ideal childminder, as we have established. Claire will get distracted by a shiny thing, and suddenly, Sherry falls down a drain. Ooh, look at all these herbs. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have any space. Damn. Maybe I should use some grenade rounds. It's getting to the point where I don't really need to use the handgun conserving ammo. So, take this. Very satisfying. The only thing more satisfying would be to use a chainsaw. We can be all evil dead. I wonder where we are now. We must be miles away from the RPD. Right. So, I've made some space. Let's go exploring. And we've made our way to a big turntable. I wonder where it leads. Let's find out. It seems to be a control device for the turntable, but we need a key. Ah, typical. Luckily, the key is right here. No, it's not. It's right here. The control panel key. And now, we're going to head towards the last part of the game. Time for an obligatory laboratory. With any luck, it'll probably explode or something. Okay. Let's activate this thing. And go down. My stomach hurts. <laughs> Hang in there, Sherry. Her forehead's burning up. I've got to hurry before the embryos pupate. Uh-oh. She's unconscious. Emergency. Okay, so the door's gonna be locked from the outside. Let's go and see what that noise was. I hope it's not a monster. Oh, great. William! You're looking great! And it's time to switch to the spark shot! It seems that William has done the same thing to Sherry that he did to Ben. So we have to protect her, somehow reverse it. You never know, she might turn into another one of these. Start sprouting eyes and claws. That would be terrible. You won't be able to fit into any of your clothes. If my right hand turned into a load of claws, I won't be able to play the guitar. I'd be forced to live life like a left-handed person. Oh, what's happening? Is he mutating? Hey! No mutating! If I see you mutate one more time, I'm gonna be cross. Is that it? Oh no, those gross sounds! He's changing! 
I'm gonna get out of here. <gasps> What's that? What? Oh, great! He's even bigger. He's even uglier. But he does have two pairs of arms. And whilst the claws may be an inconvenience playing the guitar, four arms are a bonus playing the drums. Don't you walk to me with your arms all lurching over me, being all lurchy. Hey! Ow! That wasn't very nice. Right, I've got an idea. Let's run away. It's okay, I've got the spark shot. And he doesn't like that. Ha <laughs> ha! Huh? He's jumping! Who said you can jump? Oh. Had enough, have you? Where are you going? You coward! Mutated William Birkin has run away. I guess William was afraid of me and my spark shot, and so Sherry is going to be safe. Let's go and check on her. We need to find some kind of cure. Meanwhile, back with Jill. We're in the clock tower, and we're going to use the Kronos key. I wonder where this leads. Oh no! Ah! Giant spiders! I like spiders, but I don't really want to run face first into one. Now where are we? Hmm, a mercenary. The mercenary's pocketbook. September the 26th. It's only been three hours since the mission started. Blah 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 blah. September the 27th. Blah 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 blah. Full stop. God, he's still going on. It's no wonder he's dead. Instead of doing the mission, he was just writing his diary. September the 28th. The clock tower has become a dangerous place, and I don't want to make any more mistakes. An umbrella mercenary. It seems that he died trying to shield someone's daughter. What a sad, tragic thing to happen to anyone. And it appears that we have another puzzle. Hmm. And over here, we've got a crystal ball. So I'm going to take that. Use it to tell the future. And over here, we've got an obsidian ball. I like that word, obsidian. And the last one, an amber ball. Yep. I'm gonna take that. This is one of those weird puzzles. Kind of trial and error. I don't really get it. Let's skip it. I'm gonna push this. Nope. <laughs> I love that. Okay, I suppose we're gonna have to do this puzzle. We have to take all of these crystal, obsidian, and amber balls and place them onto these clocks. Try and find the corresponding ones. So all the clocks say 12 o'clock. Okay, I'm gonna place the amber one first. Yep, yeah, let's put it here. If it's wrong, fair enough. Luckily, there's only three, so you could do one, two, three, one, three, two, two, one, three, two, three, one, three, one, two, three, two, one. And you'll get there eventually. So the last one is the crystal ball, because the person in this picture looks pretty mysterious like they're telling the future. And we've done it! And for our efforts, we've got... a gear. But not just any gear, we've got the gold gear. And that sounds amazing! So amazing, in fact, that I'm going to combine it with my silver gear to create the ultimate gear. So now we can go back to the tower. Hi, spider. How are you doing? It must be an interesting sort of life being a spider. Better than being a zombie. I want to go up here. Is Nemesis still here? No, he's gone. Good. I have no time for dealing with that guy. What a jerk. Now of our amazing gold and silver gear, we need to put it here, in this beautiful ornamented gadget. <gasps> it works! Great! So now, that should get the bell chiming. According to the UBCS mission briefing, when the bell chimes, the rescue helicopter should arrive. How 
However, call me paranoid, but I don't think things are going to go my way. So I'm getting prepared, just in case. Alright, let's go. Where's my helicopter? Saved. Down here! It's finally over. Huh? No! Oh no! I knew it! Stars. Thanks a lot, Nemesis. Oh no, what's he done? Jill! Nice entrance, Carlos. Destroy this rocket launcher. Is Carlos okay? He's still alive? Oh no, we've ruined Nemesis's coat and now he's angry. Jill has been infected by the virus. This is terrible! Jill can't be infected by the virus. She's a main character. What if she becomes a zombie? Nemesis, you've ruined everything. And you've killed the helicopter guy. I mean, at this point in the Resident Evil timeline, it's still early days. We're still full of hope and optimism. At this point, there's only a couple of helicopter deaths. The Bravo Team helicopter in Zero and One, and the rescue chopper that gets shot down in Resident Evil 2. And now Nemesis has shot down another one. How's anyone supposed to feel safe? You're still alive. Luckily, we've got these super freeze rounds. And Nemesis does not like these. Oh no, stop it! Poor Jill. Put me down. I don't think Nemesis can last much longer. He's not looking well. Hey, but how long is Jill gonna last? Oh no. <gasps> We're out of bullets. Right. Combine these. And we've done it. Nice one, Jill. Wow, he is messed up! And he falls right into the fire. What an idiot. Carlos! Uh. Both Jill and Carlos are in a bad way. Uh. Jill! Jill! Hey! Don't die on me! Jill! Jill! Poor Jill. And back with Leon. I just found out. John's dead. What? Never mind. Let's just get out of here. The sooner the better. Hey! The water's all been drained. And we've got zombies! Don't worry, Ada. Just stick by me. You'll be safe. Look at these soldier guys. Probably cut by some kind of edge tool. Or a spiky hand. Luckily, Claire sorted all this out so we can bypass all of this and go straight through this door. Alright, whoever's making the ceiling crumble above my head, stop it! I don't know. 
anything on here? Nope. Okay. Ada, do you want a traffic cone? Plenty of those. Sherry and Claire have taken the air tram, so let's call it back. And then we have to go the same way. On our way to the turntable. Hopefully we're going to be alright. Carlos just got knocked out. Jill's been infected by the virus. Ada's been told that her boyfriend sent to a zombie. Leon's been shot. Sherry has a knockoff face hugger. It seems that Claire's the only one that's okay. Come on, Ada. Let's get on. It's been a bad day. I don't want any more bad stuff to happen. Ow, what? What did I just say? I don't want bad stuff to happen. We have a giant claw coming through the roof. Ah, a sort of edged tool. Kind of like the one that killed those soldiers. Hmm. Wait, it's William! What's he doing here? I'll have you know that's umbrella property you're ruining. He's gone. Whoa, that was intense. Okay, so before we move on, let's just light this flare gun thing. Bit weird. On what this thing's for. Hey! It's illuminated this. We found a key. A weapon box key. That might come in useful later. I woke up to the sound of falling rain. I can't believe I'm still alive. Uh, uh, uh. Carlos? It looks like our roles have been reversed from when we originally met, huh? Don't worry, Jill. This chapel is safe. I've been infected by the virus, haven't I? Hey! Take it easy. I'm okay. Don't feel any pain. But that's what bothers me. If I can't feel anything, then what does that mean? Don't give up, Jill. I'll take care of you. Whatever you do, don't let that virus beat you. Poor Jill. We're gonna have to find something to help. <gasps> Zombies! That was close. This place has been completely destroyed. What a shame. It was such a nice building. <gasps> oh no, not these things. Get away from me. These brain suckers. Now, Jill couldn't push this giant bell thing. However, we can. So we should be able to access this door. We've made it outside the clock tower. And over here, luckily, the Raccoon City Hospital. So maybe we can find something to help Jill. The Umbrella doctors work fast. They might have a vaccine. What's that? Oh no! Hunters! Not these guys! I hate hunters! Two of them! Wow, some good dodging going on from Carlos there. Unfortunately, he's dodging into a wall. But luckily, we're in a hospital, so we have lots of herbs. Raccoon City's sort of lucky it's got a hospital. It doesn't really need one. When you live in a place where all-purpose healing herbs are abundant, a hospital just seems a bit redundant. Sadly, these guys in this corridor didn't have any green herbs, so they're all dead. Ah oh well. 
What a mess. Any zombies? Oh, we got a blue herb. Just in case we get poisoned. But we need something to help Jill's virus. I mean, I don't know what's going wrong here. Usually, Carlos puts on the charm, does a bit of flirting, and the women fall at his feet. However, with Jill, it's not working. Just because there's a zombie apocalypse and the whole city's been destroyed, it's like Jill's mind's focus on that and not Carlos's flirting. So my thinking is, if we can help cure her virus, she'll instantly fall in love with Carlos. This is gonna be great. Is there a more romantic gesture than finding a vaccine? I don't think so. A voice recognition lock. Enter your voice. Let's play this tape we found. There also appears to be a slight fracture in his right arm just below the elbow. However... Just below the elbow. Very interesting. And now we have access to the lift. Unfortunately, there's no floor plan telling me where the vaccines are, so we're gonna have to guess. This whole experience has been terrible. The whole city is a wreck, so many people have died. What I really want to know is who's been messing up everything and who's been pulling every evil string. Don't shoot! No! Nikolai? You're still alive? You saw what happened. What's going on? I'm one of the supervisors. That's all you need to know. Wait! Whoa! It was Nikolai all along. And this guy is dead. He's supposed to be Tyrell. He got a bit more screen time in the remake. It's too dark to see anything outside. So Nikolai has been backstabbing us and killing people. That's the last thing we need. We're surrounded by zombies and monsters, but frankly, I don't know who's worse. You don't see them screwing each other over for a percentage. Nikolai is in this all for the money. The less survivors, the more bargaining power. Now, we've got a sick room key. Let's try and explore. We have to be able to find something. Oh no! That's disgusting! I see you. They're like mini versions of that giant worm Jewel encountered earlier. Hmm. Something appears to have been placed here. Weird. Well, this guy is dead. He's holding a slip. Three, two, five. That must be important. I shall commit it to my memory for the rest of my life. Let's go! In here! Oh, the sick room key. No monsters? Good. And we have one of these things, just like in the other room. So, this looks like a puzzle. I think we need to create a mirror image. Personally, I think it's shocking. People in the medical profession certainly don't get paid enough. And this is where the money's going. Making funny little puzzles. But we have revealed a safe. Not for long, matey. Let's see what's in here. A number lock. What could it possibly be? Um, three, two, five. And we have found something really amazing. A vaccine base. Wow! I've spent my life dreaming of having a vaccine base. But alas, it was not to be. I remember being a small child around Christmas time, just wishing that Father Christmas would bring me a Game Boy so I could fight and enslave monsters and force them to do my bidding. <sighs> but just like with the base vaccine, it didn't happen. My whole life has just been one big long trail of disappointing, tragic, first world problems. And that makes me angry, so I'm gonna have to shoot this guy. And it serves him right. My machine gun solves every problem. Oh dear, it's a another hunter. 
I'm sorry, I had to blow you up. But on the bright side, look at all this science stuff. Extreme caution is needed when handling chemicals. Of course, and look at this tiny screen! Well, that has put me in a great mood, so this hunter's death cannot bring me down. Ah, just what I needed. Herbs. Because there's lots and lots of hunters around and I don't want to die. We're on a mission. I'm going to find this vaccine and bring it back to Jill. But I'm also going to have to tell her the news about Nikolai. She's going to be so surprised. A traitor in a Resident Evil game? Well, I suppose it comes with the territory. It's like an end of game explosion. I've always wanted to know what's in this. It's still with a complicated lock and can't be opened. What is it? What's inside? I guess we'll never know. But look at this. More hunters. Gamma hunters. Floating in the tubes. Hmm. Well, whatever we do, we're going to try not to wake them up. I found a medium base. Can I combine? Nope, can't combine those. I think we have to use it on a machine over here. Oh, what's this? A love letter? Nope, medical, blah, 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 boring. Let's try using it here. It seems to be an electric power supply for the cultivation tank. Oh, I don't want to mess with this. No! Oh, yeah, great. They are definitely going to wake up and kill me now. Right, let's just do what we need to do and get out of here. The medium base can be set here. That's convenient. Okay. Let's, um, work this out. We need to try and make both of those land in the middle or something. I don't know. There we go. That was easy. Jill might be the master of unlocking, but Carlos knows how to pull levers. And for our efforts, we have got the vaccine medium. And now I've got everything I need to make our vaccine. Carlos is so clever. We could have used a man like him in 2020. Uh oh. Oh no! Run! Hey, stop it! What have we unleashed? It's like a hunter spliced with the only thing more terrifying than a hunter. A frog! But there's no need to panic. In this room, it's just normal hunters. Take this! Sorry. I think it's time to leave the hospital. We have everything we need. We combine the vaccine base with the vaccine medium, and there we have it. The vaccine. The cure for being a zombie. No! I'm not giving my vaccine to you guys. I'm sorry, but I have to get it to Jill. And frankly, you guys are beyond help. It's a pity we couldn't stockpile multiple vaccines. Luckily, the nemesis only infects somebody once, and then after that, he can't be bothered. Ah, uh, what's that? It seems to be a time-based bomb. Oh no, blimey. Let's run.